Well, it's a sunny day. I feel brand new. There's about a million things that I could do. Whoa, would you like to? Icy winter, spring had finally arrived. The warm weather made everyone, well, ducks, want to jump for joy. Look at you! For Peep, spring meant making new friends. Wow, I used to have one rabbit friend, and now I have. <laughs> um, lots. For Chirp, the nicest thing about spring was all the flowers in bloom. <sighs> then, one bright blue morning, quite by accident, Chirp discovered the best thing of all about spring. Wow! This is the most beautiful place I've ever seen! It's like a flower shower. <laughs> Chirp couldn't wait to show Peep what she had found. Don't look, we're almost there. Okay, now. <gasps> what did I tell you? Isn't this the springiest thing ever? It is. It's amazing. Let's keep it a secret, Peep. If everyone knows about it, it won't be beautiful anymore. What about Quack? We have to tell Quack. Okay, but just Quack. Flowers, trees, that doesn't sound springy. I'll show you springy. <laughs> But it is springy, Quack. Oh. Chirp found it, and I Quack. found it next, and you'd be the first duck to find it. Oh. Oh. First duck, you say? Tell you what, I'll go to your secret place if you take diving lessons. You'll be studying with the master. <laughs> what master? <laughs> oh, boy, that's funny. What master? <laughs> Quack. As if you didn't know. You're a funny bird, Chirp. Very funny bird. So, what do you think? Isn't it springy? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Very pretty. And what do you do in here? Nothing. We just look at it. Well, here's something we can do. <laughs> right, and this. <laughs> hey, and how about this? <laughs> Don't tell anyone else about this place, okay? It's a secret. Secret, eh? <laughs> Never fear. When it comes to secrets, you can always trust a duck. That's right. You can always trust a duck. Unless that duck happens to be quack. Blue Sailor! 
How are you? I've been really busy lately. Wow, you don't say. Yeah, this winter I spent a lot of time in the lodge, eating and, you know, beaver stuff. Top secret. I have a secret, too. Ducks have secrets? I thought only beavers had secrets. Are duck secrets any good? Are you kidding? They're the best. You want to hear it? Okay. Wow, the springiest thing in the whole world? That is a good secret. Yeah, I know. Hmm. All right, that's enough excitement. Run along now, okay? And remember, hush, hush. Hush, hush. Gosh, my first duck secret. I can't wait to tell the squirrels. Beaver Boy didn't really understand about hush, hush. By the next afternoon, when Peep, Chirp, and Quack returned to the orchard, <gasps> the secret was definitely out. this could have happened. Oh, I know. You were telling me about duck secrets, and I said, are duck secrets any good? And you said... Nevertheless, as a duck, it's my duty to make things right. Hey, I know. Maybe now's the time for diving lessons. Diving lessons? You told my secret and you think diving lessons will make it better? Well, yeah. What about... Flower diving lessons. Flower diving? Oh, good one, Peep. See, we bunch up all the flowers like this. Like that, that's nice. And make it nice and soft and perfect for diving. What do you say? Chirp said, yes. All that spring and into summer, she stayed in the orchard and practiced diving into flowers, into leaves and grass, into anything that was soft. Hey, look at this. There are little green bumps where the flowers used to be. Uh-huh. Okay, back to listening to me. Uh, now you've got to stick the landing or the judges will take points off. <gasps> <clears throat> Yay, chirp! Way to go! <laughs> Am I a good teacher or what? Quack. And then one day, late in the summer, it hit her. Uh, ouch! A cherry, that is. <laughs> hey, these must be cherry trees. Isn't that great? The flowers turned into bumps, and the bumps turned into cherries. And in case you were thinking, why would a bird like Chirp need diving lessons? Well, watch. Cherry! Mine! I got it! Yay! Not bad. A few more lessons, you'll be ready for the pond. <laughs> That's me and Cullen and Jesse, and Jesse's dad. We're planting some seeds. The little seeds are tomatoes. And the bigger seeds are the sunflower seeds. We'll see how they look in a few weeks. Wow, look how tall they are. That's a tomato, and that's a sunflower. 
I think they're gonna grow like this high the next time we see them. Oh, Our plants are doing really well. They're huge! Wow. wow. Now we need to plant them in the ground. My mom and I are putting them into the ground. We'll see how they look in a few more weeks. Whoa! Look how big these things are! They are humongous! That's a sunflower? Look, the tomatoes even have little flowers. I think that's going to turn into a tomato. We'll see how they look in a few more weeks. I think the sunflower has grown faster than the tomatoes because it's bloomed, but the tomatoes, are, they're not ripe at all. We'll come back in a few weeks. And some of them are green and some of them are red. There's three tomatoes and each of us will get one tomato. It tastes very sweet. Look what you can see here. When we planted them, we started out with seeds just like these. Try planting some seeds and see what happens when they grow.